If you haven't been using MCP, I think you'll be blown away. MCP allows your AI to read data and perform actions on your behalf on all of the other apps that you're using. So for example, if you're using ChatGPT in the browser, you can ask it to add an event to your Outlook calendar, and it can do that. To do that, it needs a connector known as an MCP server. And this is what Zapier is. That MCP server needs authorization to connect to these other apps on your behalf. And that's why it's important that you trust the MCP server that you use and not just some random one that you find online. Most of the leading AI tools support connecting to an MCP server like Zapier. And once you set it up, you'll be able to tell your AI to connect to these external apps, enabling a lot of powerful new workflows in your day-to-day -day life. So this is my email inbox. And every day I get a ton of emails, some newsletters, some marketing, some important. So what I can do is ask Claude to help me sort my email. That way it saves me a ton of time going through them. Go into my Gmail and take the unread emails from the last 24 hours, going into the inbox only, ignore other folders, and then apply the appropriate label to them depending on what type of email they are. So then let's go ahead and send that to Claude. And because Claude is connected to Zapier MCP, it is going to be able to go into my inbox, sort through my unread email, and then label them. So after Claude does its thing, if I go back to my inbox, I can quickly see what I need to address and what can wait for later. Now this inbox triaging already saves me a ton of time every day. Now let's take a look at how to connect your AI tool to Zapier MCP so that you can do this productivity hack and more. Now click on the link in the corner or in the description below to visit the Zapier MCP homepage. Then click on this orange button to start building. If you don't have an account, you can go ahead and create one. And even with the free tier, you still get access to Zapier MCP. You get a monthly allowance and you'll be able to try this out and use it. So I've disconnected Claude with Zapier MCP because I wanna show you setting it up from scratch. So you'd click on new MCP server and here you would choose your AI tool. So you saw me using Claude, but you can just as well use other ones. You can see there's AI assistance, there's APIs, there's command line interfaces, and there's also code editors and various other ones. Now, the one you choose here will dictate the instructions on how to add Zapier MCP to that AI tool. So I'm gonna choose Claude and you can name it anything you'd want. I'm gonna leave it as that. And the next step is simply to add the tools that you wanna give Claude access to. So these would be the apps that you want Claude to be able to interact with and read data from. Now you saw me use the Gmail one, so let's go ahead and do that. And if this is the first time you're doing this, you're going to be asked to connect your Gmail account. And essentially you're authorizing Zapier to access your Gmail account. That's why it's important to go with a company that has a track record and has done this for a long time, which Zapier is. Don't use a random MCP server you find online. And all you need to do to give authorization is it's gonna pop up a window for you to log into your Gmail account and then that's all you need to do. We used find email and we also used create label. Those are the two ones you saw in my example earlier. So you, if that's all you want to do, you can simply add those two tools. So we go find email, just like that. And then we add the tool again, but this time for create label. And if you want to do additional functionality with other tools such as calendar, notion, there's over 7,000 apps, nearly 8,000 app integrations in Zapier. So any tool that you wanna work with, for example, Google Analytics, you wanna pull data for reporting purposes, or maybe you use HubSpot and you want to automate some of your client follow-up, the possibilities are endless. So I'm just gonna stick with what we have for now because I wanna just show you how to connect it. Next, we go to the Connect tab and this is going to be different depending on what client you're using because all of them, they set MCP servers a little differently. So, but I'll show you, it's really easy. So this URL, make sure you don't share this with anyone. I'm gonna delete this server afterwards so that this doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Here's how easy it is though to add it to Claude. I'm gonna copy the URL. I'm just gonna click this button. It's gonna open up the connector screen. I'm gonna hit connect. I'm gonna paste the server URL in here, hit continue, and then it is going to ask, can Claude access Zapier? Yes. And that's it, it's ready to go. So it says successfully connected to Zapier. 
Now you can always go back to the configure screen and add more tools, thereby giving Claude even more access to external apps that you use, increasing the possibilities of what Claude can do. And if you want to use MCP with another AI tool, you just go ahead and set up a new MCP server and this time choose something different. Maybe you want to use it in your code editor. You can go ahead and do that. Set up a new MCP server with a different set of tools. All right, let's look at more examples of how MCP can help you. I can use Claude to schedule meetings. Check my calendar on October 8th and schedule a meeting in the morning with Ellen at codewithchris.com to discuss marketing analytics. So here Claude checked my calendar and it saw that I already have a meeting with her and it's asking me what I'd like to do. Schedule a separate meeting with Ellen after the strategy meeting. All right, so it has created the event. I can see it right here. AI is really good for summarizing as well, giving you the main points and getting you to digest info quickly. I've done that with this blog post and now I wanna save it to my Notion workbook. Save these notes to my Notion workbook titled Article Summaries. So it's gone ahead and added this page to my Notion workbook. And sure enough, it's right here. If you're a software developer, you can also hook up Zapier MCP to your code editor, and then you can use different developer tools without ever leaving your editor. So these are just a few examples that I've shown you, but Zapier MCP has over 7,000 apps that you can work with. For example, create email drafts. You can pull reports and data in your analytics suite. You can pull Zoom meeting recordings, summarize them into meeting minutes, and then send them off to the relevant parties. And these are only some of the limited scenarios that I can think of right now off the top of my head. The possibilities are endless. The right way to use MCP is different for everybody. But once you find the right MCP powered workflow for you, it can save you a lot of time. I'll say this again, but a word of warning, don't use random online MCP servers that you find because you don't know if they are malicious. That's why I stick with Zapier MCP because they've got a long track record and they've been doing app integrations for a long time. And in a space where new tools are popping up every day, especially vibe coded ones, I think a reputable company with a track record matters a lot. At the end of the day, I value the peace of mind that comes with connecting my apps to a known provider rather than something random that I found online. If you feel the same way, click on the link right here to visit Zapier MCP to get started. A big thank you goes out to Zapier for sponsoring this video. All thoughts are my own. They haven't seen this video before it goes out. And furthermore, I was already using Zapier for my business before they even contacted me. And last but not least, if you want to see how I use MCP in my vibe coding workflow, check out this video. Or if you want to see me use MCP in more code related scenarios, check out this video right over here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.